What's up, Slacker? Slacker out here. Welcome back to Vampire. Now, I had a long, long chat with my friend, Lady What's Her Face, and she made me touch her titty and then put me in the friend zone. So, the Ascalon Club wants me to join them. Shadow Gambit, get. Meet Ascalon Club leader. Yeah, yeah. And gain his trust. Alright, so, it's that way. So the Ascalon Club wants to meet me, and um, basically the bitch was saying, or my friend was saying, my baby girl was saying, that... Uh, so, time to visit the Ascalon Club. Yeah. Anyways, what I was trying to say is that my baby girl was like, hear what they have to say, see what they want, be super polite, because they could F you up, and maybe work with them for now, because... They could be a good ally. Um, for now, you know, you're, you're, you guys kind of want the same thing, but keep in mind, they're bad bitches, so... Yeah. <clears throat> uh, gotta go that way. This... The fuck is that? It's too quiet, it's freaky. I don't know if it's my volume is louder than usual, but I can hear all these fucking noises. It's creeping me the fuck out. Hey. Oh. Okay. Who, did, who that is? Who that is? Do not touch in public. Oh, yeah, yeah. Public announcement, whatever. Don't touch. I gets it. Um... What does that say? Quarantine. Uh, okay, these are just signs. Okay. Um. I cannot enter. Okay, you cannot enter, but this is the way I need to f and go. Is there an f? So I can poof around. Do I have to go around? I think I might have to go around. This is some bullshit. Alright. Let me see. I can't go that way. There's a lot of unknown events happening around the... Around the... Ooh, no. 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 Where do I... How do I... Oh. No. That way. Yeah, there's a lot of unknown events happening around the, the city. Okay. Oh, psh. I got distracted. Uh, I have to go that way? And then this way? And then that way? And then that way? So, so confusing. Maybe I could go this way. <coughs> Fine. Stop coughing. Ooh, okay. I should use that more. Nope, go up there. Yeah. Don't go down there. Huh. I'll just watch, see what happens. Bye. Go. What? Has he seen me? Did you? You didn't. He's just standing there. Do I have to fight him? Fuck, I think I'm gonna have to fight him. Alright, fine. Hi. You Londoners are no match for me. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, mother. He's got skills. He's got skills. No. There, get him. B. 
bitch. That bitch. I don't know why we can't just all get along. You're a vampire, I'm a vampire. And where's the Fearsbury Gate? Is that this? Is that that? Or is that my other, this gate? Fuck you! Motherfucker, he did it again! Okay, third time's the charm. Let's run, let's go. Where is he? Watch Yeah, yeah. That's right, bitch. No, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? What the, what can I do? I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Motherfucker. Oh, bitch. I hear more bullshit out there. Ugh. Nothing. Nothing. There. Fly. Go away. Stop coughing. Mm-mm. I don't want to... I don't want to be a part of that. Thought I saw somebody poof. All right. That's weird. Okay. Okay. You got anything? No. Yeah, I'll deal with that in a sec. Uh, that's on the other side of the wall. Fuck that. Am I just watching this? Recognize you. No. This one ain't on our list. Well, that's one less anyway. It'll make McCullen happy. McCullen? Mc oh my god, that shut up, the dude. Vampire I saw earlier. This war takes no prisoners. I can't even go It's locked. Can't even go down there. Oh my god, shut up. There's a beast and a, and a sh person that won't shut the hell up. Fucking hey. A. 
Am I still going the right way? Shit. Oh, they're over there. Okay, there's this way. The west end. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. Ooh. Ooh, I see somebody that way. Nothing that way. Okay. Can I poof anywhere? No. Burn it, boys. There. Come on. Bitch. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Got you. Motherfucker. All right. Still gotta go this way. Okay. West End. The Ascalon Club. The heart of British vampire society. Oh, this is a Not okay a area? Huh. I want to see if there's a merchant around there. There is, and I... No, that's a hideout. Hmm. I guess I'll have to talk to some of these people. Good evening, miss. Oh my god, no. Please, Mr. Vampire, don't kill me. Please, no. I'm too young to die. I still have so much to offer this world. Wait, no. Why do you think I would... What? Bitch, you playing Don't games? Worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. Charlotte Ashbury. The fuck's My going on? taught me long ago how to <clears throat> recognize the signs that betray a vampire. I understand she also taught you how to tease and gently... You're Lady Ashbury's daughter? Songs. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Charlotte. Huh. I didn't know she never she never said hey she made me touch her titty she tried to get onto me but if she has a kid I don't know if I'm down for that you know I I have a lot of other responsibilities I can't be there for you I don't know about this tell me about the neighborhood tell me about the neighborhood what do you think about this part of town I was raised here and I suppose it feels like home you grew up in this part of town too, did you not? Yes, I did. Yes, I was born a few streets away. A small yep. world, is it not? Did you ever imagine that my mother was your neighbor all that time? That you could have met her in the dark alley at night? You won't trick me twice, young lady. Yeah, we both bitch. Know lady Ashbury never hunts or attacks prey at random. Come on, doctor. Don't tell me you never thought about that possibility. Her fangs on your neck. Oh, are you blushing, Dr. Reed? Bitch! What's up? What, what kind of daughter did you raise? Man! Is there something that's bothering you? Too much selfishness and individualism for my taste. Even when there was no epidemic. Even if that's partly true, may I remind you that many charitable institutions are financed by the selfish and filthy rich. I suppose you're right. But society must reform and renew itself or we are all done for. Uh, I guess. Oh my god, I looked directly into my light and I got blinded for a second. Oh my god. My eye hurts. Ugh. Uh, what did you do around- What do you do around- What do you do around here, bitch? You mean what 
what do I do outside at night since I am a woman? That's not what I said. Let me ask you a question, Stop putting sir. shits in my mouth. Would you ask the same question of a man? Actually, yes. I ask the same question to everyone who dares to go outside at night, considering the risks. Well, if you must know, I campaign right, for the right the to vote for all women. Why should I wait to the age of 30 years when men can vote at 21? Okay. How are the locals reacting? Are you a suffragette then? Oh, you really are, Elizabeth's girl. Without a doubt. All adult women have the right to vote in the US, in New Zealand, and in Australia. But women here can't vote unless they are property owners. No need to convince me. I know, bitch. Charlotte. I'm a ri I have shared your opinion for a long time. Hell yeah. Even before I met Emmeline Pankhurst. Really? Oh. Now I see why my mother appreciates you so much. Too mm. bad there aren't more men like you in the vicinity. Do, what, what does your mom say about me? Because, you know, she looked good. I'm just saying. What's she, what's she say? How are the locals reacting to your claims? People here can't wait for a wall to be built to isolate the West End from the rest of town. That's how progressive they are. If this happens, Emily and I will blow it up. Explosives are very dangerous, young lady. And who is this Emily? Yeah, who does Emily, bitch? She's my best friend, and a suffragette, too. She was supposed to campaign with me tonight, but hasn't turned up. Have you any reason mm. to be worried about her? Recently, Emily started to believe in... Well, she got interested in vampires. Mm -hmm. I'm she might be in trouble. <clears throat> Let me guess. You spoke to her about us, didn't you? Despite your mother's warning. I think I should try to find your friend. Oh, that would be top notch. I can tell hmm. you where she might have gone. You have my thanks, Dr. Reed. And please don't tell my mother. Uh, I'm going to tell your mom. Emily. Uh, I don't want to look for. Sorry, you adopt. You got to be adopted. Daughter. What do you want to know? Who are your real parents? Elizabeth Ashbury is my real mother. She raised me and has taken care of me all my life. I have no idea who my progenitors are or were. Do you live with her? Okay. I still spend a lot of time in my mother's mansion, but I have my own house now. I have a life to live, you see? Yeah. One day, I'll have my death to face. Ooh, yeah. So how, how did you, did you meet? meet Lady Ashbury? First, I was an orphan in the institution for girls she manages in the West End. Mm -hmm. When I was ten, she adopted me, and I have lived with her ever since. Did you know she was a vampire when she picked you? The correct word is Ekon, Doctor. And no, I had no idea why my mother only showed up at night. She told me everything when I turned sixteen, though I suspected the truth for a long time before that. Right. Uh, well, yeah, you would. You'd see things and hear things and know things. What do you know what about exactly has your mother? You know about your mama. You about me? Your name and profession, obviously. And the mystery about your maker. I'm sorry to hear about what happened to your sister, sir. Mother mm. says it was not your fault. Does it not scare you to know what I am? What your mother is? Why should it? My mother is the most compassionate woman. Must I be hmm. wary of her, Dr. Reed? Vampires are people, too. Wait, what did she ask me? What did she ask me? Oh, shit, what did she ask me? Oh, fuck, I was talking. Should I be afraid of you, too, I think is what she asked me. Of course not. You have nothing to fear from me. Yeah, okay. Good to know. And don't worry, my mother told me everything I need to know about vampire tricks, their nature as well as features. Your mother is not like any other vampire I've met. I believe she thinks the same about you, Dr. Reed. Hmm. I know, if she liked me, I could be your new daddy. Um. Uh, what? I already thought I already got that. Do you know that. why Lady Asprey chose you to become her daughter? No, I don't. Each time I ask her that question, she smiles and says it's precisely because I dare to ask such questions. Do you ever regret hmm. that she chose you? Of course not. 
Though I often wonder if she adopted others before me. Oh, yeah. So, where are they buried? How was it for them to pass through life with a never aging mother? Yeah, that would suck. <sighs> no, there's other stuff I can do, but I don't have any. That's it. That's it. Okay, I'm just going back and forth. All right, goodbye. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. <laughs> I suspect you may see her before me. I laughed because it reminded me of that Andy Sams uh, Andy Sandsberg uh, uh, doing an impression of the uh, Wahlberg guy. Um, how's your mother? How's your mother? Yes, yeah, how, how do your mother for me? Oh shit, that's funny. Uh, anything over here? Thought I saw some shits over here. Nothing over here? It's really well lit over here. What's... This area is nice? Oh, it must have been the shine on the floor. I saw something shiny. Cause I'm shiny! Anything over there? No. Just a trash can. Aluminum shard. I want to find a merchant so I can buy stuff because it seems I, I'm, I want to upgrade my sword because the club is more powerful but it's slow and I want... Ah, oh, shut up. I want to upgrade my sword. Can I go in there? And yes, I can. Whether you need to buy something or not, I am happy to help. All right. Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome you. Well, I must admit it's good Thank you. to receive a warm welcome for once. Yeah. I'm doctor. Nice. I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. Sorry. Okay. Um. 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 Personal question. London. How's, uh... How is the situation in this part of town? Life is good and peaceful. We're lucky to live in such an era of progress and wonders. Are you not concerned about the epidemic? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm sure the authorities it's would take right a outside. measure if the danger were that high. Hmm. Don't be you naive. You cannot expect the newspapers to expose the truth while the war is still raging. I can assure you that the situation here is desperate. Well, that's news then. But I can't believe that things are that bad. Are you sure you're not Exaggerating a bit. I'm a dog to bitch. Okay. It it is not a late hour for trade. Um let's see. I just want to trade, really. I, I don't I wanna have a look at your goods, Mr. Russell. Um Lead plate, I think lead plate? Is what I needed for my sword? Uh, I think that's what I needed. Okay, um. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy all of it. Alright. Alright, thank you. I'm done. I'm out of here. Alright, I'm gonna done. I'm done. I would. I do actually want to keep talking to a whole bunch of more people. Just to get to know this area a bit better. It's really lively here. Not so fucked up, but I, let's go inside. I've wasted enough time out here. Uh, okay, I need to remember to be nice, but keep in mind they're fucked up, they're a-holes.
but be kind. Be my best behavior. Do you Hi. know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. I know, the right, bitch? The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I bitch, I received an invitation. I'm yeah. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Short motherfucker. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. Thank you. Um, your uh, your place looks a little run down, guy. Um, it's a little. There has been quite a battle here. You you don't have a maid, huh? You don't got a maid that I'm sure the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. Yeah. Let's Welcome talk to this. To the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. I wanna get I wanna get the shit behind I'm just gonna take this. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then Dr. Reed. Okay. Can I answer these doors? No. Anything here? No. Whoa. Arthur Pembled Plumbleton. Plumbleton. Alright. Let's go. Damn, this shit is noise. Up here. What's this? Is that a dagger? <gasps> I want it. Good dagger. Good dagger. What's this? Shillings, my shillings. I found them. They're mine now. I cannot enter. You cannot enter. I must go to the other side because I cannot enter that way. What's here? Mine. I'll go in there in just a sec. Any more shits? Any more shits? No more ships. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I was supposed to go the other way. Good evening. What's happening? What's... What's cooking? Hey, y'all. That... Oh. That's a book. Okay. And that's a My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansher was no match for him. Hmm. Yeah, here, here. Come forward, young Ekon. For we have so much to discuss. Sure, I'm gonna be nice. Welcome to I the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am hmm. Lord Redgrave. Earl of Bristol and chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. Hmm. Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend well, of yours? Yes. She is a close friend, yeah. She is a power she has been proving useful. Uh she is a close She's friend. A close friend. And I'm honored that she feels the same about me. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Uh -huh. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. <clears throat> Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of this scowl plague that threatens London and the country. Mm -hmm. You have been on the front line in the East End, but the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain, but we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. Okay. 
Why me? Why? No. Why me? Why do you suddenly need me? The Escalon Club only recruits the best, and you definitely fit the bill. Your scientific and medical reputation alone would qualify you as a candidate. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End? Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also hmm. wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? Right. Uh... Uh, both of these seem a little... I don't like him talking about my sister and my family, but I'm gonna keep my cool. No, I don't. No, I haven't. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club and to serve me as such. Uh... I have questions first. I don't want to join just a willy-nilly. Before I accept, I have so many questions. Please ask. Okay. What is the what is the club's purpose? What yeah. What is the Ascalon Club's express purpose? We follow the credo of William Marshall, the greatest knight who ever lived. As was he, we are sworn to protect the British Empire. Okay. William Marshall founded the Ascalon Club. Not exactly. William Marshall granted me immortality, and I founded hmm. the club a few years later. The good knight has been gone for so long. Is William Marshall the one who made me? Is he the one that made Jonathan? Is that what it is? How much you want to bet right now that the guy, that this guy, the knight, made William? I know. That's I found it. I figured it out. Uh, what does Ascalon what does mean? Ascalon mean? Ascalon was the lance wielded by St. George, glorious patron saint of England when he slew the dragon. And like that lance, we pierce the hearts of all our nation's enemies. Hmm. Okay. What does that it one? mean to be a member of the Ascalon Club? It means that you swear to protect the interests of the crown, that you become a loyal servant of the British Empire. Hmm. Uh, have you any Do you official have any official recognition from the government? A charter from His Majesty the King? No. Of course, the Ascalon Club publicly supports the Empire, but the true nature of its members remains a secret. Hmm. Am I supposed, am I supposed to obey? To follow orders? As founder and chairman of the club, I alone am entitled to make demands of our members, and I do appreciate obedience. Mm hmm. All right, let's get to the really. Uh, I killed Fergal, who claimed to be one of yours, sent to cleanse the East End of all skulls. Yeah. Will his death be an issue? Do not worry. My priorities have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. Damn. One of your own and that's how you fucking are? That's fucked up. That I don't like. He's one of your own. He's a club mate. He's a club partner, brother, whatever. And you just fucking replace him like that? Nah. If... Nah. I don't... I don't, I don't like that. Mm, I don't have anything else to do. Before but to... I accept. Oh, I so fuck. Many questions. Please ask. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I already asked. <sighs> I agree to join the Fine. Club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally 
and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? Fear not. Yeah. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. Okay. I guess so. Do I sell coffee? Yes, My I do. My fellow members, dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Hi. Is he worthy? Is his blood pure? Sure. Well, the speak fuck does that mean? In front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Um, Do you serve and protect the crown as he did? I will? Yes. I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. Testify? It is testify. time to sign the Book of Allegiance. Hmm, with my blood? Like, I know it's all in the gothic and a tad pedantic. But England's traditions are the backbone of our nation. Hmm. Well, do it. I guess. If you're gonna sign, do it. Ugh. Ugh. That's gross. Don't taste my blood. Don't, ta don't taste my blood. That's fucked up. That's weird. That's creepy. That's creepy. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us. One of us. The fucking cold. Okay. I get to talk to anybody? Talk to... Lord, yeah, I did. What's I up? That went well, did it not? It was fine, it's I guess. It's useful to bolster the troops' morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago. Well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. Yeah. All right. I'm a straight shooter, motherfuckers. Lance Bearer. I'm listening. What's up? According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic, and your findings were quite alarming. Yeah. You were spying you were on me? Spying on me. Not personally. I rarely leave this building. But once he found you, Fergal kept me informed. Until you put an end to his mission. Hmm. Who was Fergal? I don't see him sipping tea with the others in the club. Fergal Bansher was my squire of sorts. Mm -hmm. Even before becoming that magnificent beast. You're the big motherfucker. He served me well for decades. No, I mean, what was he? He was clearly no ordinary vampire. No. Oh yeah, he was fucking he huge. He was a Volcod. All muscles and instinct. Quite the rare breed. Ferociously territorial. Mortals often mistake them for werewolves. Huh. So... The... We... So are... Those beasts that, I, that, I, that you see and I encounter, they're actually vampires, not werewolves? Because they look like a motherfucking werewolf. Whatever. You know I killed him. No, I killed him. Yes. Will you bear ill will towards me for his death? Of course not. Your victory was quite impressive and courageous. You earned my respect. Okay. You were spying on me. Not personally. Ah. Uh. I rarely leave this building. But once he found you, Fergal kept me informed. <sighs> Come on. Until you put an end to his mission. Uh, okay. Do you know, so you know him? Swansea? Not personally, 
But I've been told he has some sort of immortal fetish and is a good friend of yours. Does it bother you that I consider him my good friend? As long as you reveal nothing of the club's inner workings, why should I forbid you engaging in conversation with the good Dr. Swansea? Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll agree with that as long as, you know, keep my shit separate from him. Yeah, I guess so. Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the Skulls. Hmm. Okay. I uh, can hear people talking in the background. Uh, some Skulls are peaceful. I have met peaceful and wise Skulls. To exterminate them means we are no better than vampire hunters. Scowls are hideous, shameful creatures that give all Ekon a bad name. So, no. what do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all yeah. means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. Whoa. What's going on? Oh, just because my mesmerized level went up? Okay. Uh, Lord Redgrave has wants me to use all my medical knowledge to pinpoint and stop all the possible sources of infection in the West End. He seems very worried that the epidemic might spread wealth spread wealthier boroughs of London, thus raising the chance of infection British Britain's elite. Yeah, of course he fucking only cares about the British elite. Uh, I will attempt to root out the case of the infection. I believe I shall start by interrogating all the local inhabitants I find to gather all possible information about the unusual activities related to the epidemic in the vicinity. Damn, I read that shit fine. Okay. The Great Hunt, eh, eh. Uh, ask local about possible sources of infection in the West End. Okay. Can I talk to some of these people, though? I can. Good evening, Dr. Reed. How does it feel to be this evening's centerpiece? Figuratively. Hmm. I feel it's uneasy. Quite unsettling. As a doctor, I am more used to being the observer than the subject observed. Do not be alarmed. The Ascalon Club has a tried and tested policy for choosing its initiates. May I ask who you are, sir? Why yeah, you look like interested? human. Well, as you seem to be the only man in the room with a beating heart, you draw quite a bit of attention yourself. Oh, yeah. Vampire senses never cease to fascinate me. They dwarf those of mere men. I am Aloysius Dawson, by the way. Aloysius. Okay. Are you a club member? Are you a member of the club? Yes, I am. And I have been for many years. And will be until the day I die. Are you, are sick? you sick? Personally, I consider my advancing years are a sickness in itself. My body is slowly abandoning me, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about it? It's not yeah. really my place to give you such information. I am merely a mortal member, and a dying one at that. Really? They don't tell you shit? Are you not afraid? You are surrounded by vampires. Sir, it's for that very reason that I joined the club in the first place. Hmm. Is this not a club? See, you are, uh... 
Is not the nature of this club a secret shared by only a privileged few? My dear mm -hmm. Dr. Reed, I have spent years and a fortune precisely to gather that kind of information. Okay. So you asked for membership. I have been a member of many clubs in many countries. But I must admit, this one is my favorite. <laughs> okay. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? I would not dare speak of our chairman without his consent. Okay. Mr. Dawson. Of Dawson and Dawson. The wealthiest man in England. Oh, that's who you it are, huh? It's a pleasure to meet such a prominent figure of London. A withering London figurehead, to be precise. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? I am we a doctor, you know. You're dying. My case we is beyond the scope of traditional medicine. I have spent fortunes on the world's most competent doctors to arrive at that diagnostic conclusion. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Should I suppose that you're here in search of some form of immortality? Absolutely not. I'm here hmm. to implement my plan to save the city I was born in. To cast out the ghastly evil that has us all on our knees. Uh... About the what do you know about the guard of Prewen? I should not say this, but I admire their commitment. This is what the nation needs right now. Okay. But they are our enemies. They are not mine, Dr. Reed. Hmm. Would you help them? No. There is a time for such methods. But brute force will not be enough to fight this plague. We have to think differently. Okie dokie. What is the situation like in this part of town? I am sure Lord Redgrave will enlighten you more effectively than I. Bitch, you're very vague on your answers. This mysterious epidemic is going to require more than money can buy. You're right. Money is nothing. Unless one has the will to wield it. I have a plan, sir. A radical one that will save all that is essential in London. What is your plan, then? Yeah, Quarantine bitch. and barricades are futile. What we need is a wall. A formidable, unscalable wall. To isolate the deserving from the infected masses. Hmm... It's unfair. It segregate the rich from the poor, would it not? It would be unjust. Our only course of action must be to save England. And to save England, we have to make sacrifices. Are you not mistaking sacrifice for summary execution? Why do you care? Are you not a vampire? Removed from all mortal concerns? Decisiveness is what the city needs. And it needs it now. Yeah, fuck you. I really... Uh, do I have time to speak with everybody? Oh, I can't even speak with everybody. Oh, okay, well then we, there we go. N -n problem solved. Who is over here? Nobody. Okay, well, let me... Steal shit, I guess. Money. I am just like a klepto. Right? That's what people who steal shit is are klepto? What's in here? Is that it? Ooh. Key for Ascalon Club's basement? I want to go to the basement. What's in the basement? Ah, oh, money. I want to go to the basement. What's in the motherfucking basement? Any more shiny shit around? No? Okay.
Ooh. Is that the basement? No. Ooh, this door? What's going on? Okay then. If, did I exit through the back? I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. Yeah. It looks like it. Hi. Who are you? Good evening, miss. Can I help you? I'm a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am... I am... Karina Billow. Okay. I don't need any doctor. The rats. Where are the rats? Miss, you don't seem well at all. Are you afraid of rats? Has one bitten you? No. It's me who bites them. Tasty, juicy, disgusting rats. I can't stop eating them. Help me, please. Help me to disobey the voice. The voices? What happened to you? The rats. Yeah. The answer hides in their little crunchy bones. Their juicy, tiny brains. Miss Billow, please try to concentrate. I mean, I've eaten rats before too. I mean, not me, but the game. The voice in my head. He forces me to do so. Drink their blood, he said. Eat their flesh. Tell me about the voice. You Do feel, you feel compelled to obey that voice, Miss Billow, even if you're loath to submit to it. Yes, please help. Tell okay. me about the voice in your head. Who is it? Can you describe it? Is it someone you know? Someone you met? Keep your mouth shut, he said. Don't ever speak oh. about me, or I'll abandon you. Help me, please, Doctor. Okay. Tell me about yourself, Miss Billow. What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm hungry. Need to eat. Have you got something for me? Blood, perhaps? Can you give me blood, Dr. Reed? Don't you remember who you are, Miss? What you did for work? I was strong, proud. I campaigned for good causes. But that was before. Before, it does not matter anymore. I'm so hungry. Okay. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Infection. Infection. The rats carry it, I, I heard. Rats. 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 Many rats around that big house. Funny smell, too. Dead flesh. And where is this house? West yeah. Park. Not very far. A, a big house with no sound, no light, no life left. Okay. I must go now. Goodbye, Miss Billow. Can I give you blood? I don't know if I can give you blood. Whatever. Reach the first source of infection. Should I follow her? No, it's locked.
What's this way? I don't even know. I don't even know if I went the right way. Embankment sewers. Is there an eavesdrop point nearby? No, I'm moving away from it. Is there anything down here though for me? I don't think so. I'm confused. I don't think so. I'm going to go back up. I'm still investigating, but I'll have to do it in another episode. It's getting kind of... Getting kind of long. But it's getting interesting. I joined the Ascalon Club. I need to find her friend. I need to find where that, that source was. I think that lady told me maybe check that house. So I might do that in the next episode. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Share the video, ring the little bell bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.